Good morning, everyone. I am back in my classroom for the first time in over a year, and I want to show you what it looks like. I'm going to be honest, it looks like I never left. <laughs> it looks so, it looks the same, but the desks are different, and we got these plexiglass things. We got a few things for the virus and like handling that with safety. So let me go ahead and show you around. So these are the desks. They were supposed to be six feet apart, but they ended up changing that to three feet. And this is what they are. Um, I'd say it's about three feet or so. And then we have these plexiglass shields on all the desks. And they're actually on with these, which are like stickers, so you can't really move it. If I were to try and take it off, it's not coming off. Uh, but this is what it looks like. I have one of the bigger classrooms on campus, so they're able to fit more desks inside my room and still have uh, plenty of room to walk like this. I'm so happy about. Um, if you saw my story on Instagram, <laughs> I would say at the beginning of that lockdown, these desks were right up against mine and I was like so uncomfortable, but now there's so much space. I didn't do this. I'm assuming the janitors did but it looks pretty much the same except for the desk setup. If you don't remember, I had desks in rows and then at some point I had different groups, but now they're just separated like this. All of my little, I don't know what you would call these, filters are still on my lights. If you don't know, I actually used all of the ASB butcher paper, if you can see it back there. I cut them into pieces and I taped them up with painter's tape and they're still up over a year and a half so they did really well and if you can see they actually create a really cool design on the floor and it dims out the lights a bit so it's not as harsh in terms of fluorescent lighting and when you open up the blinds more light comes in it's just a very gloomy day outside so normally there would be more light in here one thing is that I still have my Christmas lights so if I press this all of my Christmas lights will come back on. And there we go, it's so pretty. I absolutely love the Christmas lights and I can't wait to set them up again. But this is what my classroom looks like. I am just obsessed with the way my classroom looks. And one thing that I do wanna mention is that when I posted a picture of my classroom on Instagram, it's been reposted by a lot of other like teacher pages, like popular ones. And a lot of people said that it was probably a fire hazard with all of the things hanging from the ceiling. And I've never gotten any complaints about them. I never got in trouble, no one ever said anything. In fact, I actually had my assistant principal come in and check it out because I was so proud of what it looked like. And she just loved it. She didn't say anything about like fire hazards or anything. The only thing that we are told for fire hazards is to make sure that the doors are not blocked. So I have a door right over here. I'm not allowed to put anything to block that door. And then I also have a door right over here. Obviously that's the one that kids come and go through. But this one, I can't put anything to block the door because then that is considered a fire hazard because when you exit this one, that's the stairs for outside. So if there is a fire hazard, or if there is a fire, then we have an emergency exit in this classroom. Not all the classrooms have that, but I'm lucky enough to have it. Um, but I just can't block the doors. But anyways, this is what it looks like. It looks the same. Look at it. It looks so beautiful. I absolutely missed this room. I definitely tried my best to make sure that this room was like a second home, but more like a whimsical type of one. So it's like exciting for me to come and exciting for the students to come to class. So I definitely put in a ton of work to set this classroom up, but I have some news for you. So I haven't told you guys yet, but I am actually moving schools. This is the place I've been for the past four years and it is alternative ed, but to be honest, I've been trying to think of what I want to do with my life, where I want to live, things that I want to accomplish. And I just decided that it's time for me to make a change. And 
I've been applying to a lot of different jobs and I ended up getting one. Um, so I'm moving schools. <laughs> I'm so excited. So I'm going to be moving from the alternative education sector from a continuation school into a fundamental high school, which I'm gonna completely be completely honest, I still don't understand everything about fundamental schools. I'm still learning. But from what I do understand is that it is um, kind of higher achieving in the sense that they have more rules, more strict rules that you had to adhere to. This particular school I'm moving to is very, very centered around sports, whereas the school I'm at now, since we're continuation, we have alternative education schools we have like small school sports competition, so we'll have like a soccer team, but practices should be mandatory, but they aren't, like, like it's really hard to get kids to show up to practices, and sometimes we just don't even get enough kids to show up to the game. There's usually one day where we have games, and we'll have one, two, or three, depending on how well we do, um, but that's pretty much it for the sports here. But when I go to my new school, they are very, very centered around sports, and I'm so excited for that because I used to play softball when I was in high school, and I actually coached a softball team before I came to this school. So I'm thinking I might volunteer as like an assistant coach as well, so I'm really excited for that. Um, but one thing I do know about the fundamental schools is that it's based on like your zip code, and you... I don't really, like in order to get into the into the school you have to have a relative who's in the school and it's based on like a lottery system so based on your zip code you're in this lottery to go to the school um, like I said I still don't know I'm still kind of figuring it out but for now I'm back in my classroom at my alternative ed school where I've been teaching for the past four years and I am going to be teaching summer school as my last kind of hoorah. So I'm gonna be here for summer school. Right now it's Monday, so this is like the day before students come and the first day I'm in my room. So there's quite a bit I have to do. One, I'm gonna be cleaning up my classroom and two, I need to prep for actual school starting tomorrow. Um, I don't understand completely as to what's going on with online learning versus in-person learning. I thought that the district decided if you're doing online, it's this separate, kind of stuff, but then if you're doing in-person, it's just the teacher and the students. So I don't think there's gonna be hybrid, but we're having a meeting today in a few hours so that we can really understand what's going on with that. But I'm super excited to go to my new school and it's kind of bittersweet because I'm leaving like this gorgeous classroom, uh, everything that I've done here, all my work, all of my memories here of the students and the staff, but I'm really excited to kind of make the move and go to my new school and just figure things out from there. I'm so excited to have um, a new classroom and you know get that opportunity to decorate again which by the way I am going to have plenty of videos for you for decorating because I am changing my whole theme for my new classroom this one is all rainbow but my next one's gonna be kind of like a boho jungle type of thing. not like jungle but I don't know how to I don't know how to describe it um, it's, let's just say it's gonna be boho yeah I, I don't know how to describe it I'll show you some of the things that I got um, in a later video, I'll do like a haul video, but it's going to be completely different. It's not going to be rainbow. It's going to be more like neutrals and oranges and like uh, browns, oranges, I don't know, <laughs> neutrals. So I'm going to show you a haul later on, but I am going to go ahead and get started on packing up my classroom. And this is probably going to be a few days worth of videos, so stay with me. I'm doing my best. I only have so much time today. And then tomorrow, like I said, we have students, so I'm probably going to be doing it after school as well. Um, but I just wanted to take you along on my journey and just kind of let you know my big news that I'm moving schools and just, I don't know, I can't wait to, I can't wait to see it and just take you guys with me and just get started at the new school too. Uh, but for now, we have summer school, so let's go ahead and take down our classroom as much as we can. But before you say anything, I know that everyone says don't take down your classroom until the students are gone. However, I don't really have that choice since it's summer school, the year is over and I do need to start taking things down. I don't wanna leave it up for summer school, here's why. Next, or I guess, yeah, so next school year I'm moving, I'm moving to a new school, but I need to move all of my stuff that I already have into the new classroom, but there's also gonna be a PM teacher. So we're gonna be sharing a classroom and I don't like the idea of sharing a classroom with someone later on because I'm not there when the other person's there. I'm not there with the other class. And if something goes wrong, it could damage my stuff. And I, I don't say that 
to be like selfish or anything. It's just that I've learned from experience. If I leave things when other people are using the space, my stuff tends to get damaged. I can't tell you how many subs I've had where they've literally gone through my, my refrigerator and stolen my food. Um, get a lock for your fridge. I'll link it in the down bar. I got one, it works great. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I am gonna be cleaning up everything. I'm gonna be taking stuff off the boards and just kind of gathering all my stuff together um, just because I don't want it to get damaged and I need to take it with me. So. It is what it is. So let's go ahead and let's get started on cleaning up my classroom, shall we? <laughs> okay, so one thing I wanna show you is this handy dandy wagon that I got at Target. And this baby holds everything. I got the camo color because it was on sale. <laughs> but it's great, it's, it's the all-terrain wheels. So when you're wheeling it down the hallway, no one can hear you, because it's like rubber, right? When you know when you get the plastic wheels, everyone can hear it kind of like rolling down the hallway. Not the best, but this one, highly recommend. And it's got cup folders. It's really for kids and like picnics. But this is what I do when I'm trying to get all my stuff out of my classroom. Just load it up and then wheel it to your car. It's perfect, it's big and it holds like 220 pounds. So I'll link it for you too. All right, so the first stuff I need to get is coming from this cabinet right here. And this thing is full. I don't know if you were watching my videos last year when I was packing up. To be honest, I don't even know if I had a video where I was packing up because we were shut down. So this thing is full. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up so you can see. Full. So I've gotta get all this stuff in my wagon. Best thing about having a wagon, you can just roll the stuff. You don't have to carry it multiple times. So let me just start, let me just start. wagon is full let me show you this thing is so full and it works so great I'm gonna link this for you at the bottom in the down bar because this is just it's been a lifesaver so clearly I still have plenty to go um, but this is just trip one and day one so there's plenty of time as well but how great is that and then you just wheel it around okay so I'm just gonna go and wheel this down to my car load up my car and then I'm just gonna come right back and hopefully get another wagon uh, depending on what time it is because we have a meeting so I'll keep you updated on everything as well so let me just go ahead and take this to my car Okay, you guys, I took one load. 
down to my car and I'm already starving <laughs> and it's like what time is it it's like nine o'clock in the morning so I remember that I have my microwave in here I'm gonna open up the closet and find it yes I know the closet is a mess all of these our boxes <laughs> people's names on them for those uh i don't know donations pennies for patients they didn't give us the boxes so i had to legit buy my own and make some just put the money in there so kind of a waste of boxes but somewhere i have a microwave oh, my refrigerator ah ha ha microwave cool all right so needless to say i need to take some of this stuff out too which I totally forgot about. So much stuff. Let me grab my refrigerator, set that up, and then my microwave is on, so I guess it's already still set up. So let me just kind of get this out, and then I can put my stuff in it. like 10 45 so i also have to go to my meeting soon so i'm gonna be back you can see like how like sweaty and gross and ugly i am um we are going to i'm gonna pick up right when i come back from our meeting okay but i'm gonna eat real quick run to the meeting and then i'm gonna come back and continue we still have plenty stuff to organize well, that's from the closet then those little things gotta finish up that cabinet and i got all this stuff over here but i'm gonna finish up and i'll be right back Okay, I just got out of our meeting and it was just kind of letting us know how summer school is going to end up working, so nothing too exciting. But I learned what this is <laughs> and I learned how to use it. So all you do is you plug it in and I have an outlet up there for some reason, so cool. And it's an air purifier, like a filtration system. So you just turn it on and it sucks in all the air and sends it back out. I put it right by my door so when people come in and out it's automatically cleaning that air so pretty cool pretty big pretty heavy but it's got wheels so I figured that was the perfect spot and then we also got another one right over here and this one I'm thinking of setting up just right here so it's still around um, this other door over here so whenever doors are opened it just kind of cleans the air but I'm also thinking maybe put it in the back because my windows will be open all over here. So we're gonna get fresh air. So I'm thinking maybe back here instead since it's kind of like the back of the room, but I'm still kind of figuring that out. We'll have to see what happens, but you can see there's still so much stuff that I have to get out of here. It looks like I am not going to be sharing my classroom with the PM program. So that's really nice. So I don't have to share my classroom with anybody. So I don't have to worry about that. And I can have the entire summer to kind of take it apart piece by piece, which is really nice. Um, and it gives me so much time. So I don't have to do it all today, but I'm going to take down these lights and everything last because they're the coolest looking things. And honestly, the hardest to take down and put up. Um, but right now I'm still just getting stuff out. You can see that my wagon is still pretty much full. That's an empty box, so I'm actually gonna fill it with the stuff from my cabinet. And then I gotta get all this stuff out. So let's do that. from August. 
August. <laughs> I loved this calendar. It was so cute, but we didn't get to use it, didn't get to finish it, but it's so cute. I love this. But I wanted to pack these first. These are my caddies that I had for all of my tables, all the different colors. What I'm gonna do is just put them in different bags. So like a bag for colored pencils, one for crayons, and one for markers. And I have those right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dump these in. And then that's gonna be it for the day. We were told that we can actually, like we don't have to stay all day if we are working at home, which I am gonna have to do because I haven't prepped at all. First day starts tomorrow, so I have to prep and get my lessons ready. But my car is going to be so full anyways with the, just this stuff. My car is going to be full. So, yeah, just finishing up these caddies. I'm going to show you one more time everything around. I'm going to show you how full my wagon is, my second load for my wagon. Here we are, second load filled to the top. And I put all of these in bags. So I have my glue sticks, highlighters, um, staplers, glue bottles, lots of stuff. Scissors I didn't put in a bag, but everything else is just stuffed. And again, this is wagon number two for the day. I still have to get all that, which I'll probably do later this week. This is trash. And then I ended up moving the air purifier. I put it over here just because it said to keep it on your longest wall and like a few feet from desks. So it looks like we're gonna have one big one and one smaller one. Um, and then all of these windows will be open. And then there's a chance I might keep that door open as well. So we'll have to see, I may end up changing it and putting that purifier back over here just to make sure it's kind of even, but we'll see. I just don't want this back of the class to be neglected, even though they are gonna have windows there. So we'll see what happens, but yeah, this is what it looks like. I'm just gonna finish packing up the stuff from these caddies, and then, <laughs> it's such a mess, you guys. This is so overwhelming, but I am so happy that our PM program, the one that we're gonna do for summer school, I don't have to share my classroom with anyone, so I have plenty of time to do it, and it makes me just so relieved but I'm gonna finish this up and then we're gonna head out.